Revelation 3407. From the 16th of January 1945. Hour of the End. Presence. Seers and Prophets. The divine plan has been decided and unchangeable since eternity. For it has been thought out in unsurpassable wisdom and predetermined down to the smallest details. And this plan is by no means arbitrary, but it is based on the reclamation of the once apostate spiritual, and according to this every event unfolds both in the spiritual kingdom as well as on earth. There are constant phases of development, periods of time of different lengths, which are granted for the recovery of the spiritual, which are therefore limited and the end of which has been determined by God since eternity. And God announces this course of development periods to people through seers and prophets, and indeed he will always point out the end of such a period to them in order to spur them on to fulfill their purpose of earthly life. But he will never predict the appointed time to people, so that they must always and constantly reckon with living in the time which precedes the end. In the period of eternity there are always only short phases of development which are always replaced by a new one, and thus the end can also always be described by God as imminent, even though the time appears long to people. And that is why predictions for this end have been sent to people by God at all times, and a long time has passed in the meantime, viewed with human eyes and according to human time reckoning. Nevertheless, these predictions will also come true, the announced time will become present, the redemption period will enter its final phase and people of the present time will experience what seers and prophets have foreseen since the beginning of a redemption era. It will be the beginning of the end time, the end will be near, there will not be much time left because the time set by God has expired according to God's eternal purpose. And now the prophetic words will start to take shape when the earthly events seen by the seers become reality and people's spiritual low can also be recognized, which determines the end of a period of development. And therefore, in the last days, the end will be announced to people ever more thoroughly and urgently, even though the day and the hour will still be kept secret because it is not suitable for the human soul when this is revealed to it. God knows the hour and he will keep it, as it is intended in his plan from eternity. And his word is to be fully believed, the hour will come by surprise even to those who are initiated, who reckon with the approaching end. For one day it will become the present, because the word of God is truth. And that is why this hour is constantly referred to in the last days, for it comes like a thief in the night and it will end a long period of redemption and usher in a new era. The old earth will pass away and the new earth will arise, not only spiritually but also materially, because this has been determined since eternity. Amen.